The Tommy and Trap Master of Benz of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 43, Freddy's Bad Luck. Freddy was one of the Nagi engines who was one of the oldest. He was not that old, but Freddy was also pretty fearless. He was nicknamed Fearless Freddy, but everyone calls him Freddy. One beautiful summer morning, Freddy was popping down the track to the quarry. By the siding, he met Skylowy. Hey, Skylowy, how they doing today? Oh, it's pretty doing pretty well, said Skylowy. Man, isn't it me or nothing really exciting happened on the Nile Gates Railway? Motor stuff happened on the Stato Gates Railway. Mm hmm. Yep, but. Life on here on Nowgate is pretty good, especially with me, you, and the rest of our friends. I cannot talk to you all day. I have to get to the quarry to do some work. See you later, Scully. We we'll talk more about it later. Faye wait down to the T switch, but before he got to the crossing, a black tenue engine he hadn't seen before popped down fast down the track. Freddy, pause. Who was that? Said Freddy. Oh, the Skylowy. That, that engine? That's Hero. Who's Hero? Said Freddy. Oh, Hero the Skylowy? Hero the engine that Thomas found him a day long time ago that he was still when Hero was this repair when him and his friend make him brand new again. Oh. But he looks long, fast, and black. He looks pretty interesting. Freddy raced down the track to the quarry. Soon Freddy arrived at the quarry. It was a slick quarry. We'll soon bubble out to the slate wagons. They take to the farm. Freddy was about to leave when he saw Diesel. Diesel and Freddy had never met before. Oh, uh, you look new on Soto. Who are you? I never seen you before. Oh, I'm I'm Diesel. Oh, Diesel. Um, I heard about you. Say, Diesel. Earlier that day before I came here, a long, a, a long, fast tendo engine had almost crashed into me at a four switch crossing. Oh, you mean Hero? Yeah, said Freddy. Hero. It almost looked like I got bad luck. Then another idea flew into Diesel. A very not great idea. Hey, Freddy, said Diesel. What? said Freddy curiously. Um, do you ever heard of this story before? What story? said Freddy. Well, do you ever heard of the story of there was a black stray cat who went into somebody's house and she bring a whole lot of bad luck? Just like with a whole lot of black engines, they can also bring bad luck. What? They do, said Freddy? Yes. Yeah. But I'm the only one who will bring you good luck, he said. Freddy was surprised. How can that could be true? Uh, I don't know, said Freddy, but according to that story, it is true. Now, I cannot stand here talking to you all day. I better get going. And Diesel raced off. Freddy was very puzzled. Well... That engine cannot bring me bad luck, I guess, he said. Well, better get off to the quarry. And Freddy steam off. <laughs> Soon Freddy was on his way to the farm. But then, things began to go wrong. Freddy went, it was at a very high speed. I don't want to be late, he said. But then there was trouble. Freddy went onto a different line. 
Wait a minute. This is not the right track, he said. But Flame realized that the track was a dead end. Oh no, he said. I have to stop. I have to stop. Freddy's driver and fireman applied the brake, but it was little, little too late. Freddy had the rail with his two sleigh wagons, but he was still he was still standing, and the driver and fireman were on were on hut. Just then, Rusty came in. Oh dear, Freddy, that is a very bad situation you got yourself into, my friend. Don't worry, I go get help. And Rusty raced away. Soon Freddy arrived at the transfer yards. Thomas and James were there. Hey Freddy, said Thomas. It's been a while since we last seen each other. How things going for you and your friend on the Nagi's Railway? Uh, nothing too much exciting is happening. Most of the stuff that happened is for you guys on the standard gate, said Freddy. Yeah, but I know, said Thomas. A lot of things have been happening going on recently. Like, Don Donald came back from the mainland while he was helping out. And not only that, said Thomas, Mavis and Mai are, are, are away because they're getting an overhaul at the mainland for a few months. Yeah, said James. And we also got two new engines near and Rebecca to help us out. They're pretty fun. I hope you and your Nowgate's friend will meet each other someday. Because me and Max got Lowey. And Rebecca is very fun to be around with. Yeah, even too. Even Stephanie helped out my brother when I was gone. Mm-hmm, said Freddy. I kind of heard about these things. But anyways, is there any work for me to do at the transfer yards? Yes, there is, said Thomas. Can you shunt that truck over there to the other side of the transfer yard so that way the car could be sent out to the mainland? Got it, said Freddy. But then, trouble struck again. Wait, Freddy, slow down. But Freddy... Forgot. The truck slammed into Freddy, causing the slate of the slate of Corey to fall all over Freddy. Tommy and James were shocked. Freddy, they both said, Are you alright? Yes, said Freddy, I'm okay. I think I just got a little bit too exciting, he said. Mm, we understand, said James. Next time, just calm yourself down. There was even more trouble for Freddy that afternoon. Whilst Freddy was going to get to pick up another train, he was stopped by a red... He, he heard another horn. It was Paxson. Oh no, said Freddy. I have to stop. But then it was too late. Paxson came out of nowhere and both of them derailed. Uh oh, said Freddy. Looked like that was my fault. Paxson over here. Yes, yeah, saw what happened. Oh, um, sorry, Freddy. I, I didn't see you there. I didn't mean for this to happen. Neither did I, said Freddy. I'm still sorry, he said. No, it's fine. It's not it wasn't your fault or mine either, he said. Soon Freddy came down the track. Freddy felt very sad. He met Duncan at a siding. Ugh. Hi, Freddy. How's the day doing? Freddy looked very glum. It's not doing pretty good, Duncan. I have three accidents in all in one day. Why? What happened? Freddy explained the story of 
how he saw Hero at the at the cross when he met Skelloe, then Dita told Freddy about that Black Cat story and how Black Ed is bringing bad luck, and all the free accident had in one whole day. Duncan felt sorry for Freddy. Uh, Freddy, that sounds terrible, but that story, that story is nothing but nonsense. Yeah, uh, I, I have to agree. Who even made that story anyway? Duncan and felt very sorry for Freddy. He went through something he could do for him. I know. I know what could bring your spirit, Freddy. What would that would be? You take my partner train if you want to, said Duncan. Freddy felt that would be a great idea. Uh, thank you, Duncan. I appreciate that very much. No problem. Glad to help. Soon, Freddy was coupled up to the train. This could burn out my day thanks to Duncan. And Freddy soon steamed off. Freddy was having a pretty fun time pulling his path in the train. What can go long this time, said Freddy. But then, there was even more trouble. There was one to the track that was bent due to the hot breaking sun. Freddy didn't notice it, but when he saw it, one of his two wheels had derailed. Uh-oh, so Freddy, oh, I did not expect this to happen, he said. Just then, Freddy heard a whistle. It was Scalowy. Don't worry, Freddy. I'm come to help you, he said. He bubbled up behind the coach. But he accidentally bit Freddy way too hard, causing him to get even more of the development. Uh-oh, this is not looking pretty good, he said. Freddy, I'm very sorry I did that. No, it's fine, he said. Now, please, somebody, please help me. Then they all heard a familiar horn. Rusty came in. Don't worry, I come to help. The two engines... Paul with all the might, and without a doubt, Freddy was putting back onto the tracks. Phew, said Freddy. I'm very happy that I put back onto the wheels, he said. Thank you, Rusty and Scalloway. The two went to spoil. You're welcome, Freddy. Just then, Hero came in that Freddy saw earlier. I kind of heard and saw what happened to Hero, and you must be Freddy, that white old end on the Nagi's railway, right? To Hero, yes. Um, you must be that engine who brings bad luck. Bad luck, said Hero. What are you talking about? Freddy explained a whole entire story of what happened throughout his day. Oh, I see. Freddy, I know we were kind of mad before just now, but. I was not the reason you had back luck all day. I think it was something else, he said. And that what Diesel kind of said about that story it is fake. You better watch out for him because he's nothing but trouble. Freddy understand where he was coming from. Yeah, but I should never try to that deal with this Diesel. After all, what Thomas told me the other day, he is always trouble. Yup, said Scullery. I can tell that he's trouble. Mm-hmm, said Freddy. Well, I get out to go to the store of steamworks for quite a long while. Mm-hmm, said Rusty, but, but hey, at least we're not going to miss you entirely. At least we ain't gone about either a month or so. Yep, said Freddy. Well, Hero, it's not meeting you. I even heard from Tom that you're the master of the railway. I am the master of the railway, said Hero. Mm-hmm, said Freddy. Well, it's nice meeting you. You're not bad luck at the wall. You are a pretty nice engine. Bye, you guys. Bye, heroes. Nice meeting you. Freddy continued with a passenger train. Bye, said Freddy. 
Would Dido or, Mel or Elle make another story like that to any engine ever again? Let's hope not.